Meltan. Bubby. Tinky. Oh, Bubby. Maddie. Milton. Good boy, Milton. Good boy. Look at you. Maddie. Say hi, Maddie. 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 Oh, gosh. You guys, how is it that no matter how early I wake up, I always perpetually underestimate the amount of time it takes me to get ready in the morning. Like, I woke up an hour early, yet here I am, running 30 minutes late. But that's okay, because you know what? No matter how late I am running, I'm always gonna make time to shake it, if I can open this. Rocket science. All right, we got Black Cherry today, which is my number one, so you know that means we gotta show out. Oh, the suspense. Jeez Louise, 30 minutes later. All right, in three, two, one. Take it, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Uh. Why? Why is it so good? What? Just left the gym, incline treadmill, feeling great. I'm gonna start lifting weights next week and I'm very excited about it, but I have been pushing myself on the treadmill and like, ah, oh, I'm here for the burn. Okay, so for this year, I have decided to do something a little different. Um, so the week before my weigh-ins, I am going to change my meal prep to only be 20 total carbs instead of net carbs. So last week, I calculated my net carbs and total carbs. And even though I was only at like 22 net carbs, I was at 75 total carbs. And that's a lot, like between the Quest Bar and all of the erythritol, you know, you can subtract that from net carbs, but it adds up in total carbs. So in order to really kind of pare down for my weigh-in for the first of the month, the last week of every month, I'm doing total carbs. So that means for this week coming up, I'm doing 20 total carbs. So it's just gonna be really basic. My first meal is gonna be eggs and bacon. I might throw some sausage in there too my bulletproof coffee, and I do have some salmon already thawing at home. So when I get home and calculate my macros, I'm gonna see where I need to add fat. Um, I know I'm definitely not gonna have a problem with proteins, so I'm gonna look at the ratios when I get home, but this week is very simple. All right, off to Meyer. Oh my God, I finally found them.
guys like I think I'm done with meal prep unless I'm forgetting anything uh, but when I whipped up those lazy scramble eggs I went ahead and made myself some to eat and uh, the meal prep guys have blessed us with leftover bacon so I'm having that so bacon and eggs this is three eggs and a tablespoon of butter and I mean I'm not gonna count the pieces of bacon so that'll just be between me and the plate here so I'm gonna enjoy this. I got some meetings and things to do and then I will be back to wrap up, but like, oh my God. Okay guys, live taste test for this little fat bomb concoction that I made. So like, I just basically mixed together some baker's chocolate, some coconut oil, some of that sugar-free syrup and I just threw some sea salt on there. So let's see. Oh, it just came out of the freezer. I definitely taste the salt. I definitely taste the syrupiness of the syrup. Mm, six and a half, seven out of 10, but we'll definitely do in a pinch and it will satisfy my sweet craving since I'm only having total carbs this week. I used the mocha flavor syrup. Maybe another syrup would result in a different flavor. Feel free to experiment. I will leave the recipe in the description box below. I am mad. Okay guys, I am done with meal prep for the day. So let's see what we got. For meal number one, we have delicious scrambled eggs, scrambled in butter. So much bacon. <laughs> I'll be having three pieces of bacon and then potentially a piece of sausage. I'm not sure yet. Meal number two is gonna be this grilled salmon and some broccoli with a tablespoon of butter. Here we have the little fat bombs that I made. And this week I'm gonna be relying on Jell-O and I have Powerade Zero. You guys, look at that. Look what flavor that is. That is grape. I just got some on a whim last week. I was like, you know what? Do I really hate grape this much? Let me try it. And honestly, I kind of liked it. And I'm kind of having like a crisis right now because like I don't know who I am. If I don't hate grape flavored things, I don't know who I am. And then if I have the macros for it, I haven't quite calculated them yet. Um, I might have a hot dog or two. You saw that I found the Slim Fast Keto Fat Bombs at the store. Even though I won't be able to have those this week, I was glad to find them and to pick them up. Speaking of picking things up, I went to TJ Maxx today and I got some collagen. This is the collagen I got this time. It's called Body Collagen by whatever brand. Like, I don't care about the brand. I just care about the price. So for about 20 servings of this, this was $7.99. I mean, in my opinion, they're all pretty much the same, but I have collagen. I do think it has been helping with my fingernails. Like, I don't, once again, I don't know if it's the placebo effect, but my nails are long and strong. I'm so excited, I'm gonna give myself a manicure tonight, uh, the results of which you can see on this week's What I Eat Wednesday video. But I bought some collagen and I bought another syrup. This is sea salt and caramel. Um, for some reason, this bottle is glass and I don't know if they did that to make it seem like more high end, but like it just made me a thousand times more nervous carrying it around the store and carrying it home. Like, why do we need glass? I break things. Like. Plastic is your friend. Also guys, if we wanna take a look at my shirt, it says Keto Yo on it. And I first saw my good friend Keto Colin wearing the shirt and I messaged him and I was like, oh my God, I need that shirt. I must have it immediately. And he sent it to me and like, that just means so much to me. Like, I really appreciate this. Shout out to Colin, thank you so much. Also, people, frequently ask if I have a P.O. box or an address that you guys can send stuff to. Like, first of all, your generosity is overwhelming. Like, I can't even imagine. I am glad to say that I have finally gotten a mailbox, so the address is gonna be right here on the screen, and then I'll also put it in the description box below. Thank you so much to anyone that even fathoms sending me anything. Like, like you guys mean so much to me, and just the more I can share with you, the happier it makes me. I think that's all for this week, guys. So, oh, also, I'm having Bulletproof coffee this week. I mean, like, we stopped talking about food a while ago, but Bulletproof coffee, because that stuff is delicious. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. 
I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week.